What up, and this is Josh, your boy IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. And today, we are going to be doing a MX Bikes corner tutorial video where I will just show you how to master the art cornering like a pro. Whether you're a beginner rider or, you know, fine tuning your skills in this game, um, this video is going to be packed with a lot of tips and how to navigate those turns with confidence and precision. Just stuff like this right here being able to half throttle, full throttle, and send big jumps like this. You know, if you're not really focusing on your throttle control and your cornering, you're not gonna be able to do things like that. So that's what we're gonna be showing off in this uh, video today. Um, I'm gonna be going between stock tracks, stuff that you're familiar with, between stock, intermediate, and even pro tracks to where you can see that the same technique works in every aspect of the game. Um, I don't want to make this game. I mean, I don't want to make this video super long, so we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Just tight corners, uh, ball turner. I mean, corners. Just a whole bunch of nine yards. Just so that way you know that this thing does work, and you can actually get a lot of benefit from it. So, yeah, let's get to our first corner. One of the key elements to successful cornering is body position, and uh, I put my camera up on the screen or my controller. That way you can see my analog sticks. This way you can kind of get an image of what I'm talking about. And by leaning your body and bike into the turn, you can maintain really good speed and speed through the corner. But throttle control does play a part in this. That means not fully throttled if you know you're going to slip out a higher gear. Maybe you have to go less on the throttle. And um, I have chose force because there's a lot of force warriors. And this is where you're going to do a lot of your time. So with that being said, I want you to look at my analog stick. When you're going through these corners, instead of going right or left with your right analog stick to lean, Pull back, pull back, and if you're going to the left, you want to pull a little bit down and to the right. This is how I lean through corners, and this is a first top technique pro rider uh, ability. This is what I've learned. So you want to get about at least up to second, third gear. You can see right there, half throttle, full throttle. Boom, pull up on it. Basically make that almost every time if you get it right, right? Let's go back one more time. I'll show you one more time, and then we'll go into the actual footage of it. So we're going to go down. Third gear, pull back, left, and halfway to the right, stand up, seat bounce. Boom, too easy, made it, right? So let's go ahead and watch that footage of literally railing all of that corner. Now, entry into a corner is a huge deal. You want to get as much maximum effort in it, railing as much as you can. You can see how high I ride onto that grass. I'm not cutting any corners. I'm still high. I'm still high. I finally cut down, right? And I'm standing. Now, granted, you want to stand as late as possible, right? I'm standing and then I finally sit as soon as I get into the corner. You want to stand as late as possible and finally sit when you're in the corner if it deems necessary. As soon as I exit, I'm standing right back up. You can see the body structure. It's all about body position, leaning into it, and look how early I started literally apexing this whole corner, staying high. I sit down late, easy peasy. I try to stand the back, bike right back up on the exit of it, stand up, and I should be good to go off the jump. Now let's go ahead and cut over to another huge challenging corner that I see a lot of people cut down, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you this is the wrong thing to be coming down here. Wrong thing to go here and cut down. Right here, this is a slow line, this is a bad corner, and you're messing other people up, and you're also just messing up your own race. You wanna use as much momentum and keep as much momentum while riding these tracks. Right, and another one. See how this, you do not want to cut half this down. That is also bad. You're literally losing out on certain momentum of this track, right? Now, here's the exact way you want to do this, right? You want to go here, scrub, and you want to get as much of this outside. Use it all. You see how I'm leaned back the whole time on my analog stick? I'll do it one more time. Pay attention to the analog stick. I'll go ahead and zoom in on it. And here, as soon as I'm through the corner, third gear, half throttle, pulling back and turning the corner. I'm using all of it. I'm not cutting any corners. Now, I'm going to be standing, I'm standing, I'm standing, I'm standing, I'm sitting. As soon as I connect into there, you want to stand late, you want to stand as late as possible and sit. Now, you see how I'm literally railing all of that, all of it. That is how you are getting maximum time out of all of your, all of your corner speed. Lean back on the right analog stick. I know some of you guys are one stick users, but this is how I do it. But it shouldn't matter whether you're one stick or not. You should be railing every corner to the full of your ability. And now you want to stay balanced on the bike and you want to have control. You know, it's essential for smooth cornering and especially for tights. Now I've shown you really wide open corners that you can hit, but here's a very difficult corner a lot of people have. And it's all about your entry. It's all about your action. Stand, 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 sit, late, drive, right? Let's go again. 
See how I'm using my analog sticks right here. I'm cutting, I'm coming as wide as I can, standing, sit, cut down. I'm always pulling down on this right analog stick, always. And all, all I'm doing is going left to right. You see this? This is still leaning with your rider. Down and left and right. So let's go one more time. Let's go one more time. We'll slow it down. Here, stand, 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 sit down, lay, boom, drive. Now, as you can see, I want you to also pay attention right here in this last demonstration. Am I fully throttle or all going into it, or am I throttling as soon as I know I've connected in here? Let's find out. Here we go. Full, 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 sit down. Boom. As soon as I know I connect, I am pushing on the gas. I am not getting on this gas until I know for sure I've gotten in here. Boom. Boom. As soon as I got in there, I obviously stood right there, so I messed up a little bit. But stand, stand, stand as late as possible. Sit. As soon as you feel yourself connect in there, you should be literally pushing B. Nice and easy. Outside, standing, sit. I'm not doing anything crazy. Nothing. It's not rocket science. It's just literally what you think is entry and, uh, and exit. Now, I did not show in this demonstration that you can really hug tight on this and actually get up this front berm. I like taking the outside. It's just fun, but boom. You can literally turn in as much as you want. My go-to line is taking that outside. It's just muscle memory. But as you can see, it doesn't matter what berm it is. This is a top pro technique that you need to know. It doesn't matter. It's about entry and exit, and it's about standing as late as possible to getting sitting. You want to absorb as much bumps, uh, excuse me, as much bumps as you can before you get rocky and rolling. Now, this is Paletta V2, another great track that a lot of people ride 24-7 is also in the Papiti servers. This corner right here, I see a lot of people have trouble struggling. I mean, they literally go up here and they hit half this berm and they slide out every time, right? Same technique, same understanding, stand, stand later, right? Stand as, as, as long as possible, sit a little bit more, sit into the rut when you get into it. And also throttle control. It should be here, stand, stand, sit, drive. Every time, chat. You see how I'm pulling on, on the right analog stick? I don't know why I keep saying chat. I'm sorry, guys. But here we go. Here, stand, sit. As soon as we get into it, pull down. You see how I'm pulling down and I'm literally pulling down and I'm barely going to the left. I'm barely going to the left because I'm going to the right. Same thing. Let's go one more time. Show you as, as many times as I can. Third gear. See how throttle control came into effect right there? How I did not have throttle control in the back end slid out on me? That's why throttle control is so natural and so prominent. Right here, half throttle, now full throttle. As soon as I feel that I'm literally in there. It's, it's simple things like this chat that literally, I don't know, simple things like this guys that literally will help you out. Literally will help you out in your game. So let's go ahead and run that back and see how we enter. Now, standing, standing, you see as I sit, I'm getting into it and I'm just pulling back on that analog stick. Now, the reason I stand here and scrub is, well, the reason why I stand is so I can scrub. So I'm actually standing pretty early before I even leave. Like even before I even leave the exit, I'm standing and I'm re-scrubbing, resetting so I can scrub nice and hard. You see, I'm riding all that berm, standing, scrubbing again. You see how low I'm getting. It takes time, but I think all of you guys can do this, whether you're a new player still learning on the craft i mean literally wrapping around this whole berm i mean i'm not getting low i'm staying as high as i can without falling out another fan favorite that i see is mouse motor park and it's right off the bat of your freaking start of your you know lap you're literally having to rail this outside corner as much as you can and that right there is the same technique just pull back man i, I it's a top technique that i really can't say that like no one is doing wrong you know and then you have another one here which is right over here standing up sitting down it's all about sitting late you want to absorb as much bumps we'll go again little scrub here nice and easy stand 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 as soon as i fill in sit i have enough speed and enough traction to where i'm not going to slide out here again sit see how i'm analog sticking See how my analog goes? Same thing, right here, outside. Sit, stand up, exit of the entry. This track right here will teach you probably the most ways of how to do corners. I recommend going on this track as best as you can and as fast as you can until you continuously like just try and, and pick up on your speed, pick up on how like you can hit these corners. Because if you can rail every corner, man, you're literally on X Games mode, like look. Every time, man. Every time. I'm doing the exact same thing every time. So a lot of you guys always ask, like, yo, how are you cornering so fast? I know I don't have my, like, controller always on. It's literally this. Pulling back and, and analog sticking. There it is. Every time, chat. Every time. I don't know why I called you guys chat. Same thing over here. 
We'll go around to the other side. Standing, standing, standing. So that get in, sit. Stand back up. Just because there's bumps coming. I feel like I've I've I feel like I've shown enough demonstrations of how it looks to where it's like, you know, now you can just see like this is literally how I'm getting around the track, like using that exact same technique. And like I'll even show you a harder track. We'll go to a supercross. We'll do like a MXGP. Like does not matter as long as you can literally control throttle control and know when to sit and stand. That's gonna be huge. I think a biggest thing right now is a lot of you guys don't understand sit and stand at the right time, throttle control. I tell everybody, sit and stand, learning how to rail your corners and throttle control is probably going to be your best friend. Here, sit. Rail as much as you can. You do not want to cut those corners, man. You want to use it all. Now, I would say for the hardest corner I've seen people struggle is here at Arlington Round 7. This corner right here is what allows you to get into this huge jump that allows you to jump right over into here, which allows you to get onto the table. Now, I've seen a lot of people try it, and a lot of people either front tuck or succeed, but... Use my same method, sit down late, stand up halfway outside of it. You'll know when to stand or you'll you'll learn to know when to stand. It's the same thing here. Third gear, get really good speed, stand, sit, connect in the rut, and then go out. Do that again. I obviously messed up. Go here, stand, sit, stand back up. Now, obviously, scrubbing and seat bouncing and stuff like that plays a big part of jumping into there and all that. Um, just basically watch my like sitting and standing. I promise you same thing here stand sit you No, know, easy peasy and then this one's huge as well, you know like Here we go Connect feel yourself connect and then go for it and then you should be golden as a goose You know same thing here connect feel yourself connect if you mess up a little bit. That's okay Feel yourself connect Easy peasy same thing over here. These, these these ruts are crazy. You can use so many different line choices, you know. Feel your stuff connect. I did not connect there. But I still keep up my speed. It's going to be huge things like this is what's going to allow you to cut down your times, feel like you're cornering like a pro, and make you feel better at the game. This will scrub. Back around as if we're actually riding. Let's go fourth gear. Stand, sit. Stand back up. Easy peasy. We'll go back and ride that and see how we're literally rolling in there. Another huge thing to try to learn and master is just knowing when to accelerate at full speed, half throttle, and push it right back up. It takes time. I have 1,400 hours on this game. But like anything, this game is super hard. I mean, like, it, it takes time to learn all this, and I'm trying to give you the best cheat code I know. is standing, standing. I sit and try to enter. I stand halfway out of it. Boom. Now, this is Trentino, uh, the newest one that just dropped on Monday. This is 2024, and uh, this is probably going to be your hardest challenging spot for you to really understand corner speed because the roads, the track is so bumpy, and that that really where it plays a big part for you to stand as late as possible and sit when you are in the corner. Now, sometimes it deems that you need to just stand the whole time, just as if I did there. But sometimes it doesn't, and it just means that, you know, standing, standing, and sit as soon as you get into the corner. And another huge thing right here, even if you want to take an outside corner, stand, sit. As soon as you feel that you can get into these corners and stand and sit, you'll be literally better off. Connecting in these ruts, stand, 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 sit very late. You see how I sat super late and I was able to connect in there? Stand, 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 sit very late. You see how I, if I would have sat down early, I literally would have probably got up chucked. Same thing here, standing super late because there's still bumps everywhere. This is where it really matters. Like I, I hope that if you guys made it this far in the video, you guys understand sitting late really does matter. You, stand, you sit way too early and you will absorb those bumps and the bike will kick you. Probably the worst thing in the world. You do not want it to happen. But you can just see, like literally look at my analog stick. I'm always pulling back on the right analog stick and I'm sitting so late. Oh, sitting down. I'm pulling back and I'm kind of leaning to the right or left, just depending on which side I'm, I'm racing on. So here, sit down real late. Probably could even rail that even more, but I just didn't. So I really hope you guys took something from this video right now and understand that, man, it, it means a lot to rail and sit down late i probably am gonna harp that over a lot you guys are gonna be like yo man i get it but like the more you hear me say it the more it's gonna be more ingrained like ingrained into your like mind so 
yeah, man. I mean, there you have it. I mean, our guide to improving cornering and MX bikes for yourself, like my guide for that, you know, practice these techniques, practice this main technique that I have literally given you. And uh, on these tracks, I have literally shown you. And um, you'll understand that this tackling turns like a pro. And, and I'm happy to see you guys riding and get out there and kill it. I hope you guys literally be able to surpass me. Now, uh, like I said, I'm not the greatest pro rider and or anywhere near to being that. But I hope this right here has literally made you feel more comfortable at cornering. And let me know how you feel about cornering after this down in the comment section. I do appreciate it. Hit that like button and subscribe button. I'll catch you guys all in the absolute next one. It's your boy IBS Kelso. Pa 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 pee.